Hello, hello, ladies and gents. This is your host, Star Destroyer Gaming, back with some Steel Division 2 here. Fate of Finland DLC, fighting it out on the Corellian Isthmus. We have made significant progress here, breaking out of our lines here and here and exploiting their rear areas. But uh, they have kind of been striking back, attacking through here. And so we're going to have to survive kind of a wave of Red Army attacks, probably here, possibly here. Now that I've started to trigger them, moving this guy down in this area as well and then we'll see if they learn to start slowing off units here to deal with this I mean they could easily detach a core or at least two divisions you know two or three divisions to stop me here but they have not chosen to do so so far so we'll see if that works out for them but we're gonna pass the Soviet turn and see if we can survive their attacks okay here we go second division under attack This is by an AA unit, surprisingly. Possibly an AA unit. It's almost certainly these guys will. These guys that tried to cut off, but uh, they managed to uh, maintain communications through here, so that was not possible. They have enough to attack me more than once if they want. So let's include these guys here and get this battle started. It does look like they are going to be utilizing their aircraft for this one. I mean, not aircraft, their AA, that is. The opposite. <laughs> Maybe I kill some of those 85 mil guns as they are deploying out. Otherwise, they are rather useful as they can just pound my positions from long range. And they've got that anti-tank regiment, which... may think of it as largely useless. Uh, it does have... It does have the advantage of those two batteries of eight 76.2 mil guns that they'll probably use in an indirect fire roll, so it's kind of like their artillery for this game is with them. Let's see here. Let's put down an emplaced gun right here, actually. Yeah, it's actually a perfect spot. You can see. Nice and far with that field of fire. Did a Horienta. There you go, buds. You guys got this. Um, yeah, we can just put that there. That's fine. That's that's about the field of fire that they're going to need anyway there. Defenses. I think it's actually time to put down a gun pit here. And put another one of our 45 mils in. Other than that, we're going to use trenches right here. to fortify ourselves. Make sure that we have fallback positions here. Fortunately, we do have a nice large amount of infantry available now. So we're gonna, we should draw actually almost entirely from this uh, in terms of infantry because uh, other battalions are gonna be holding the lines. This will feed reinforcements into their into the meat grinder battles that we're going to be involved in here, but we don't want to drain that actual frontline unit because it could just collapse. No commander, that's right, for the headquarters of the 2nd Division. That doesn't make any sense, but uh, here we are. Perfect spot for those Kavos. Nice to have a nice full roster of Kavari available for our usage. And for machine guns, we've got this nice machine gun company. that 
75 mil out right there. And the max of bunker, not that it's really needed here since we've already got so much other firepower, but that's okay. These guys, they don't have trucks, I always forget that. Alright, and we'll get close range infantry to take care of the enemy as they spill out here. This almost looks like a. Almost look like something here, but not, nothing to, to hide in. For my men, unfortunately. Two tank hunter units. Then a leader to round all that out. You can also put some tank hunter squads out there. That'll do there nicely. One more gun here. And now for our, our, our fire soaking Solothurn bunkers. I will be pleasantly surprised if they get any kills. here uh, and it does not seem like we have any like large pioneer forces with this so I'm gonna have to use those pioneers let's get one here and if we play our cards right we really shouldn't lose any of them so let's try to do that That looks good. And, uh, those guys look good in their positions. Uh, we have another commander. And then this artillery we will deploy after the battle starts for sure. Definitely cannot hurt to have these artillery spotters up and running. Yep, those are all deployed now. Let's actually move this guy over here. Where he can be of use. This is an ideal spot for a commander there. I can't believe I almost didn't put one down there. And then here as well is a good spot. Let's put out some infantry. I wish she had more short range specialists, but I do not. I do not, so we will make do with this. good and let's establish some artillery positions this is where we're gonna have artillery batteries here here and here with the commander to help 
uh, and fire control. All right, and then after that, we'll start deploying batteries of artillery around these positions, but uh, let's get the main battle started. And thanks to my recon now, we're getting much better spotting. I don't think I've ever been able to start seeing them from that far away. It's a nice little avenue. That would be good to rain fired through. Looks like everyone's moving to their positions effectively. We're all following. Unfortunately, this guy decided to go into cover. Which is going to limit his ability to knock out the enemy over there. There you go. Now he's going to start to get that targeting solution. But boy, there's a lot of them. He's got better just fall back. Try that instead. That was a failure for sure. That area. Yeah, no surprise to see that fire coming in there. Zoned in on those positions. Those Kasamalets? I think they are. Boy. Guess. Look at, looks like looking lively here. Yeah, this guy's not actually able to. Let's see, I think this thing is taking that 76.2 mil fire. You better pull back, laddie. Time for the next battery to come out. That must have been over here. The only yes, it was. These guys are taking this under fire. I see. It's very good. You should, you should pull back to spawn. So should you. Ah, uh, well, lost that guy. Pull, didn't pull him back fast enough. I uh, see. I was like, "What are you guys shooting at, man? Come on!" <laughs> These guys soaking up fire as anticipated. Uh, I thought they might be more in range, actually, of these guys, so uh, that's unfortunate, but oh well. These guys are ready. Let's get those fellows ready to move. Well, keep up the fire, boys. Not 
not sure what enemy is in here. But I thought those Kavos would be able to find them. These guys better watch out. Alright, uh, looks like we have some more available, so let's go ahead and get another battery of these out. That'll be my last one. Yeah, don't go anywhere. I don't know what you thought you were doing there, bud. all we got here and let's put a commander here too beyond that let's try to start shuttling some reinforcements up I should have started with this AA gun like out here but it's gonna take forever to get to the front lines so we as well get moving now um, these guys are good to go I think could use some reinforcements of their machine guns because they've been taking some casualties. This is where it looks like my artillery is concentrating now. Definitely driving back that attack essentially by themselves. Cease. I said cease. Wow. Looks like that area is the primary target area. Uh, it's definitely where they're focusing their efforts at. I'll put those mortars up there. They're not going to be. Re we're not going to resupply them at all. Uh, they're just going to shoot off their ammo and then be done because I need that last truck for my all of these artillery batteries. Wow, these Samalas are slow. I don't seem that slow. Oh well, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just impatient. Well, you better, you better fall back, sir. We'll get some infantry there to replace you.
Ei näin kaukaa ylety vielä. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dang, bro, don't use that. It's okay. You don't have to do that. You don't gotta use your frag TNT for that one guy. Please do not do that. Ah, some Sipiri. So these guys have elected to demolish this town. And alright. They have managed to secure the high ground here. Let's take that back ASAP. Ooh, man, they got two of them just like that. Bang, bang. Hey, you better just get in there. Ooh, this is some pretty close pressure here. Guys got to fall back. Place it with Kavari instead. have decided on a target. Yes, there you go. Let's get a bliss. Oof, that definitely break, broke up that attack. Was it there that I lost those four trucks? Ah, it was here. We have a lot of uh, more supply trucks than I thought we did. That is excellent news. Those are sure to come in very handy. Yeah, no doubt. Where to deploy him? Yeah, there seems like a good spot. Ah, 
ادامه داده دهند. کسی کاری؟ آه، here is where the Scavari casualties were happening. I wasn't seeing that at all. see it now. Alright. Slug some reinforcements into that area. These machine guns are back in business without those pesky 76.2 mils bothering them. of a weapon those things really are. They, they really do kind of suck, honestly. Maxims are just not good machine guns. It's a good thing I have so many of them. Basically useless now. Ah, uh, here they lost the tank Oriunta. Infantry. Yeah, the defense here is still performing very well. down. L39 there is down. are now rifle then. They really tried their best to just cross his strength here.
Pioneering sucks. Lost those Pioneering in there. Tarkistakaa ammukset. Tarvitaanko Ivanan kanssa apua? Rinnäkköön! Artillery has been able to keep up that plunge and fire this entire game, so. And it will continue to be able to do so since we have that double. Since we're getting two trucks for batteries at one. So it's having very much the positive effect there. See that that gun was actually having an effect on the enemy now. Who man, that's a lot of snipers and stuff to deal with. We're gonna put those two guys up there. Um, I want to save this Orienta for another game, but I think I will have to see. Yeah, deploy this two Kavari. And these two units of Lorienta up. Ah, oh, you shouldn't have used that. Ah, oh, dr drats. Oh well. Wow, they're actually just starting to shoot at these a little. Interesting. These are just now starting to like, take fire. Put 
those guys there. I need more infantry to deal with this problem. Oh no, you better fall back. So if you shoot any Caesar, he's gonna wipe you out. <laughs> I don't know how this machine gun ended up over here, but it does not need to be there, that's for sure. Start phase C. Nine minutes to hold out. Oh wow, these guys are out of ammo completely. This thing is getting used in its anti-tank roll all of a sudden. Dang, bro. Got one of them. Ooh, boy. All right. Must be an enemy unit here somewhere. Maybe they're waiting across. I guess this is somewhere where they can walk. I'm not sure. This is just a moonscape. They're just wiping out everything, aren't they? Holy cow. Oof. All three of those Samalas were knocked out. 
Looks like they've kind of spent the energy of their offensive. I don't think they have a lot left now. That certainly appear to be the case. anywhere now uh, so I think we are pretty much good to go now for our defense we just gotta wait it out I was like why did I withdraw this many guys and I was like oh yeah they have no no ammo left and I could replenish them but I'd rather have that for my heavy already I don't want to move, move the trucks around that much either Drink some of them there. Got him. Good. These guys can't even get into the trench camp. Oh, there they go. Wow, oh, they were outside the trench the whole time and they're still alive. That's pretty impressive. Destroyed it with rifle fire there. This just went down to the rifle fire. Interesting. See, well, I want to use these machine gun support for like this threatened area. I don't. They can't run into this thing or it'll get destroyed. There's a lot of artillery going back and forth across the map here. Mostly fourth, but some back. Oh, holy cow, this guy's gonna actually run out of ammo. Let's speed things up now. We're not a, at a critical phase anymore or anything like that. We can even try to regain some ground here in the flank before the end. Ooh, I actually lost an artillery gun here. Yeah, they started focusing on that a little too late, I think. Nice. Alright then. That'll be the end of that battle. 26 to 196. That was quite a long encounter. Whew, that's a good KD ratio. A smaller grouping of losses here. I don't know how losing the Kasamalets transports affects the guns themselves. I don't know if they're destroyed. I hope they're not. Or if like the Kasamalets are almost like free units. Because if they were, I would have used them more aggressively. I don't know. Okay, and so these guys, for loss of one artillery piece, we counter battery dueled all of these. Eight of these and then six mortars. So pretty worthwhile there. Alright. 
that's a pretty pretty definitively repulsed. We could actually attack here, cut this off, and then cut this off too. And we have been bombarded here. I would be surprised if they didn't attack here. They got enough for two or even three full attacks. It's pretty insane. Ooh, and they bombarded these rear units too. Oh man, they they just basically opened up the full artillery barrage in this area to try to clear the way. And they're moving down AA here, surprisingly. So since that was a relatively short thing, we're going to go ahead and do our turn as well. So let's get to it. Keep cutting in and in, in, in as much as we can. This whole army, or this whole core here, will start sweeping up the coast as they clear out all those red pockets and make sure there's no enemy troops hiding back here on the coast. As I've said, these folks will be accepting their surrenders. God, I don't know why these guys are still under bombardment. That's like the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Our tanks are about to finally get a leading role. Finally getting to explore their freedom of movement. Stick them in there. I am very surprised they didn't attack me here because they had a full artillery barrage there basically and then they were like, yeah, we're not actually going to attack, so. Uh, interesting choice on their part to do that. bombard these guys because these aren't ready to receive an attack. These two need to dig in first. And then this guy deploys AA screen. There. Even though AA should not really be a problem anymore since we have their airfield now. Let's put him right there, and I'm going to have him dig in uh, to that position. These guys have all exhausted their movement potential. Let's keep these tanks going. Since you guys are bombarded, we'll give that guy time to dig in. These tanks can get back on the road now from their brief detour. Keep it moving, folks. Keep it moving. Let's go, boys. You got this. This guy is going to be part of the breakthrough. So are these guys. Okay, so these guys may be cut off because these are all showing the sign of low supply, like as if they have just been cut off. However, they're still within the red territory. I don't know what this uh, means, frankly, <laughs> for the game. Hmm. 
So we're going to have our infantry here dig themselves in along a line here, along the forest. And this will be part of So we don't have this flank hanging in the air, if you will. This guy isn't really doing anything sitting there. No reason for him to be there. 17th Division HQ. Let, let's, uh, hmm. Yeah, we can't stop these guys from intervening. There's too many. On the other hand, here, there's nothing they can do. But attacking this is not, not possible without being drawn into a much larger battle. are in place. Does this mean I've cut them off? I have absolutely no idea why they're showing this supply symbol. Let's dig them in around the airfield just in case there's some kind of counterattack. Yeah, the situation's looking good for us. May as well deploy these infantry. Out. You know, it's not too serious. Yeah, Viborg might uh, might fall soon, depending on whether they attack this. And well, here it looks like actually these guys can't dig in, which is unfortunate. I thought they could, so let's draw them back. This 20th Brigade of soldiers will come up. Move this Fusilier Battalion out. These guys would suck. I do want to use these, well, at least one of these more like unique, un unique type units, but Jakari, let's put them here. Now what we're going to do is bombard everything here like we did before. Keep this bombarded so they can't launch any A phase attacks on us here. And of course, stop this Katusha's from having any chance of firing. Excellent. Just there's nothing going on, we'll move him a little closer to the front. This guy, I don't even, I didn't even use his considerable capabilities at all. All right. That's the positioning I want. We'll dig. We'll make sure these guys dig in so they can survive a counterattack that would uh, likely be coming. Well, hopefully coming only after they dig in. <sighs> I need to stand position. These folks here are in good shape. Katusha here uh, needs to be the target of some heavy artillery attention. In fact, we'll probably just bomb it. Um, and that's what we will do. We will bomb this Katusha regiment here. So that it can't intervene. This artillery will be in position next turn to neutralize it. Elsewhere, though, I think we're good to go. 
our forces are digging around these key areas here. These guys are continuing to exploit this coastline. All this group will kind of move right up through here. Uh, and I'll have this following infantry will make a line, like four, probably four infantry regiments here to kind of watch the road area. and But they'll stay in the forest so that they're not caught out in the open under Soviet attack, especially by tanks. And after that, um, it's really anyone's guess what will happen in this area where they'll start these guys will start to come at us when we get too close they get triggered or these will start to peel off even more as we make this line or if they just continue their their assault here which would be 100% uh, viable I do want to bombard this so they can't have I don't want them to have too much AA cover normally they like to activate this I've noticed they haven't activated this so hopefully we can leave this here and it'll attack us directly but with this bombardment, I am anticipating an assault here for sure. Uh, but that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And this is Start of Sure Gaming, signing off.